Hello y'all. Welcome to part 7 of my French National State Legionary Order Path Playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 6, we defeated Mexico in a war as they were trying to invade our puppet, the Central American Republic, and then we got into a conflict with the Sarajevo Accords faction. And this took place because the Ottoman Empire decided to try and attack the Hashem, but they attacked Hashemite Arabia, who is our subject, and of course that didn't go over too well. So we called in all the Entente, and we had this huge massive war going on, we swooped in from Germany, and right now I think we're going to win soon, so more than likely this is going to be the finale for this playthrough, unless anything drastic changes, and we have come a pretty long way from a state that was just stuck in North and West Africa to going to Italy and Egypt and making those places our puppets and also then invading France and Britain then attacking Germany after that so truly we have come a long way as the Legionary Order with Joseph Donon as its leader and in our folk well, research tree let's get amphibious tank chassis I'm never gonna use that I'm just doing it to do it and let me get more stuff manufactured some more planes oh yeah more advanced tactical bombers would be ideal MB-230s, good, and I gotta unpause soon. I gotta move more planes forward, though. Yeah, we have so many planes just operating in Galicia. We defeated the Polish Republic in Part 6, who is a puppet of the... puppet of the... They're a puppet of the Austrians, but they went down. And I need to get some close air support established. One unit of a couple squadrons of tactical bombers that will focus on Hungary here. Or close air support, whatever we may have. I just need one more. There we go. Focus on Hungary and win this war. All you gotta do, we have so many fighters though. So many fighters there. Wow. Move these planes forward also and aim for Hungary. So we have some. The French Air Force is really going all in on Hungary. And our plan is at this moment to take Budapest. We've already captured Vienna. We just need Budapest because it is a very important city. Move forward here. What are you guys doing? Drive out these Austrian divisions. Defeat them up here. Army 10 of Army Group 1 got this. And it looks like in the Balkans, the Army 13, who was rapidly deployed to stop an Austrian advance into Greece, they were going to soon link up with Army 1, the first French army, once they cross more into Illyria, well, coastal region, take that, and Herzegovina. Just get these places captured, get into Montenegro, and just link up with this army, please. We're attacking them from both sides. And it looks like we might have a unified front line at this point. And can we possibly rescue these units here? I don't know. It doesn't really matter as much as it used to. And we have Army Group 2 moving into Persia and the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans have taken a lot of casualties in this conflict. They have taken, let me see here, 2,000, 200,000, 238,000. We have taken 397,000. The Danubian Federation has dealt us a lot, but we're just having to tank through any casualties we may take. In our focus tree, let's now do complete, what is it? Complete trials of the communards. Socialist resistance will go down or something like that. More military factories, use them for this here. Build more support equipment, build more artillery also when you have the chance. Budapest is in danger of falling, I think, for the, for the, for the Austrians, what a Danubian Federation. Let me have Army 13 redo their orders. And just can prepare to attack here and just go forward into Serbia and Bulgaria and help out the 10th Army who is sort of surrounded. 12th Army, I mean, they got cut off a while back, so begin this order now. Launch the offensive. Army, what is this? Army 1 may need some new orders given the new reality of the situation we're in. So let me adjust that. They're just going to have to drive onward into, into Hungary, Poland, and everywhere else. Get this done now and begin the offensive. We just had to beat the Danubian Federation and win this war. They're the leader of the Sarajevo Accords faction. And while we are pressuring the Ottomans, they aren't really considered a major faction in that, well, in the group there. So if the Sar if the Danubian Federation is forced to surrender, that would just break the whole alliance there for us. Just attack here, move forward, move toward everywhere else. We'll just capture everything. We have so many more divisions. Here's a lot of troops. Given the Army 14, where's Army 14 even at? They're in, 
I don't even know what they're doing anymore. So just have them. New England is going to fight the Constitutional American Republic. They're on their own with that. Have these guys move into Persia. Advance there toward Tehran. Get that under our control. Move forward, please. Capture it. And that's way too big of an army, but it's whatever. Can we take? We got. We took Budapest, and I got to take another city. We do have a lot of. We do have a lot of Entente help. But we do have to still. We are the ones bearing the most casualties at this moment in time. Judging by this, anyway, we've taken 435,000, and the next closest ally that has taken a lot, tribe the Communard Officers Corps, and hard labor for the hard labor for the lesser offense offenders. And the Sultanate of Egypt has taken a fair amount of casualties, so has the Italian Federation, but they are our subjects. So I think the reason why they have such high casualty counts is because we have a lot of expeditionary units. Well, we've requested all their divisions to join our army, more or less, so that could play a part in the casualty figures there. Can we please take over Persia? Come on, start attacking 12th Army. Or no, that's not the best idea. Whatever. Okay, you guys are just stuck in Bulgaria still. We'll break them out eventually. Just keep getting towards Central Hungary now. The What, did, what, do the, what does the Danubian Federation need to have to even stay alive? I mean, how much closer we are to they lose? They need 16. They need 10% or less of their victory points to be defeated, and they are at six. They got. They control 16% at this point in time. They need 10% or less. So we have a few more cities that will have to fall in order to get our victory there. Ankara will fall soon, I think. The city, well, a very important city for the Ottomans. We are moving into Persia pretty hard. The reinforced 14th Army is advancing toward Tehran quite well. And it looks pretty. We have some losses in some places and victories in a few others, but we are winning in the grand scheme of things. Push here, cut these guys off, try to anyway. Take some of Romania, possibly. Romania is a puppet trial of the Union administrators. Put them all on trial or something like that. And the Austrians are moving a few units here. Romania was made a puppet of the of the Austrians following a defeat, well, following the defeat of the Belgrade Pact. But it doesn't really matter now because after their defeat, their armies sort of ceased to exist, so they became a lot weaker. And we have reconnected the 10th Army with the rest of our military. The Balkans, well, the Ottoman Empire and the, and the Danubian Federation has been officially cut off with one another by land. They still have the ports of Romania, and they do have that if they still want to get over to Anatolia, but... I think the Austrians at this point are more worried about defending their own front lines and helping out the Ottomans. We just gotta capture more cities, get it done, move more troops into Romania, break this front line here, force this army to be spread out, attack these guys so they don't escape. There's a, like five divisions, Serbia has capitulated, that's a big blow to the Danubian the Sarajevo Accords, I mean. We gotta take, do we take Belgrade? I think that's what happened. I mean, if they capitulated, I assume we took Belgrade, that was their capital. Cut these units off, come on. These guys are encircled. Those Polish troops have been destroyed. Keep moving more into move move a few more units into Austria, please. I mean Romania, thank you. And we are slowly making our way forward in what is it, Hungary? Yes. And let's take all of the do I move any of the tenth army now? I don't know. We could threaten Constantinople. Let's go for Constantinople, I guess. Take this province here. Doctrines can be researched, get escort carriers. And where's our air force? Have they taken any casualties? They have not, but there was a big battle where a bunch of Austrian ships were sunk. Give them hard labor for life. Do that. And let me get the navy and send them into, send them, like split them in half. Operate here, operate there, get it done, come on. They're trying to break them up and send one group over to the Adriatic Sea, no, the Eastern Mediterranean. They'll operate there and maybe fight the Ottoman Navy, possibly. If they still have a navy. I don't know if they do or not. But we're pushing toward Constantinople. It may fall to France soon. And something like this hasn't been seen, I don't know, ever. I mean, I guess you could see the Fourth Crusade as something like this. And keep driving forward now. We have captured an enemy agent. And what else can we do? Get more factories on gun manufacturing. Continue to push into... Romania, the Austrians are moving some units to deal with our offensive here. Not sure if that's enough, but they are moving them there. Complete this focus here. National recovery, because we're still having to get over the fact the country was recently invaded. Well, not recently at this point, but 
I mean relatively recent in the grand scheme of history, I suppose. Keep pushing into Romania, please. Fall of Constantinople. And the Bulgarian capture of Constantinople has occurred. That's a defeat for the Turks, for sure. Continue forward. They're going to be forced to capitulate soon. They lost Ankara. They've lost several, many of their important cities. Socialist resistance on its last legs. And as the end of the legacy of the Commune of France, I suppose, move to Smyrna here, capture it for the, well, it's going to belong to Syria. For, well, until this war is over, get to Tehran, please. We'll force the Ottoman Empire out of this war, and Army Group 2 will converge on whatever's left of the faction. Well, the faction that is the Sarajevo Accords and the front lines of the... We have some units that got cut off. Come on, guys. That's embarrassing. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. There's a civil... There's a war there. They're moving forward. Do we move some more troops over? I may. And there we go. The war is over. And let me just pass, pass, pass. I'm going to make everything into puppets. Just take everything. Take all states. And we're going to have a lot of events about... About... What is it? About... How to say... About balkanizing and well partitioning these many countries of the Danubian Federation. So take all states, take all states, get that done. Albania. So I am going to sit through all those events. And our playthrough is effectively over, but I'm still going to bother to sit through all of these. Oh, we still got to invade. We're still fighting Persia, aren't we? Well, not anymore. Muscat has been forced to surrender in turn. They joined the war on the side of the on the side of the Ottomans. It doesn't really matter anymore, though. And let me have Army Group One. I mean, Army Group Two just focus all their forces on defeating the Persians at this point, who were a puppet of the Ottomans, I believe. But they somehow escaped the fall of these Sarajevo Accords. And we're gonna have a ton of a ton of fate of events. So I'm just gonna work through all these. I'm gonna split this area in Central Europe and. Well, the Balkans and Antolia into as many countries as possible. Fate of Austria. Liberate them. Fate of Venice. Let's actually give it to the Italian Federation for helping us in the war. There we go. Fate of Alaska. Really give it to Canada. They are our ally. They, did, they helped us also. Fate of Anatolia. Release it. New Turkish Republic or something like that. Fate of Armenia. Liberate it. Conquest of the Sinai. Give it to the Sultan of Egypt for they played a part in the war, so I think they, they deserve it at the very least. And the fate of the True Call States. This is like the coastal Arabian Emirates in the Arabian Peninsula. And release, release them. Or no, give it to Heshemite Arabia. If we can give land to our allies, I will because they did play a part in this war with all their troops. So that's that. Fate of Serbia. Release it or liberate Yugoslavia. Let's liberate them. That is done. Fate of Romania, liberate them. Fate of Poland, liberate them. And we're going to have a lot of events like this. Tons of events. Fate of Albania, restore an autonomous Albania. I still got to deal with Illyria, Hungary, and Bohemia, don't I? Fate of Oman, liberate them. And that is Muscat, basically. And now let's unpause, just get out of all of these. I'm not going to worry about any of this at this point. Just defeat the... Persians and be done with it. The Italian Peninsula has been reunited. I mean, it's technically always been reunited, but whatever. And now we have more events, I'm pretty sure. Return Greek lands, return Turkish lands, return Greek land. Well, okay, okay return all these lands to Italy. There we go. That is done. Return Greek lands, sure. Yes. And Greece got all of this up here. They did help us in the war. Return Arabian lands, yes, return all land to them. What else? Return Bulgarian lands. They were in the war. Return all land to them. And then we got to worry about the next set of things we got to do here. What is all this stuff? Okay, material businesses. Oh, fate of Iraq, fate of Macedonia, all this stuff. Fate of Bohemia. Liberate a Czech state. Fate of Trentino. Trentino? Give it to our Italian allies. Hungary. Liberate it. Minimal state. Croatia. We will give... Liberate them. Fate of Pirut. Pirut? Pirat? I don't know. Give it to Bulgaria, who was in the war on our side, as on the Entente side. 
fate of Kars Gidir, give it to the Turkish state. Fate of Kosovo, give it to our, I don't know, just pick one here. Let's give it to Serbia, I suppose. Fate of Macedonia, give it to the Bulgarian state. Call zero on the Entente side. Status of the Brugia, give it to the Bulgarian state. Cause of reasons you can probably guess. Fate of Iraq, and what can we do here? Let's give it to Assyria. Sure, yeah, let's, or can I just have all of that? Okay, let's just give it to Assyria because I rarely ever see this tag in Kaiser Redux or Kaiserreich. And that is a pretty big Assyria. I mean, I usually just control this part down here, but they are doing quite, they're quite large now. And who else can we decide the fate of? Fate of Bielostok? Give it to Poland. We could have gave it to White Ruthenia, but they aren't part of our realm, so to speak. Fate of Lazistan, who do we give it to? Give it to Armenia, just to be fair, since the Turks got a piece of land. Okay, that's a little a little awkward, because they're disconnected from it. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be disconnected. Oh well. Borders are borders. Keep invading, keep moving into... Keep moving into Persia. And we had some a few Persian divisions that were kind of stuck behind. They were got sort of trapped behind the lines, but they're just here now. And what do we do about Transylvania and parts of Illyria? I don't know. Croatia is independent, though. I mean, these are all subjects of our country, but Czech Republic has an interesting flag, don't they? Now, fate of Kurdistan. We're going to release them. Give it to the Kurdish state. I think I said give it to the Turkish state. Oh, well. Fate of Vojvodina. Give it to Croatia. And fate of Slovakia, release it under a friendly government. Yes, give it, a, make it its own country. Fate of Transylvania, friendly government. Bosnia, we must liberate them. Fate of Montenegro, liberate them. Slovenia, liberate them. Fate of Western Galicia, give it to, no, liberate it. And that is that. There's still a little bit more land to figure out what to do with. And can we continue pushing here? Montenegro has capitulated. Wait, who are they even fighting? I'm confused by that. And continue pushing into Persia. Get it done, guys. Go a little faster. Move as fast as possible. They only have like four... Most of their army's been like cut off because they're in Turkish... I mean, they're in Ottoman territory when the Sarajevo Accords fell. East of... Fate of Eastern Galicia. Liberate it, we'll give it to the Polish. That is done. Montenegro, give it to... We must liberate them. And return Romanian lands. Do that now. Get that done. And give this land to... Give this land to the Turks. And return all, all the land, some land we took to the Turks. Do we not actually liberate Montenegro, or are they just the same color? I have no idea. Whatever, just defeat, defeat Persia, and they have, they're finding so many divisions, this is so absurd. Take this city up here, though, also. Move forward to Meshed, Meshed, get it captured. And there's a few places that kind of stand out, I guess we get events for them now. We do, yes, Fate of Chilm, give it to Poland, that was that piece of land up there. Transcarpathia, Carpathia, give it to Galicia Lodomeria, Lodomeria. that's done now. And Fate of Montenegro, liberate them. Does that not work? I mean, it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. Oh well, what can we do then? If I get the event again, I guess I'll have to hand it to someone, possibly. And can I... Persia has been defeated, pass, pass, pass. Puppet, we'll take all states and we'll puppet them. And we're nearly done here. Persia was annexed. Okay then, and here's... I don't know what the deal is with Montenegro not being released. That is a little weird. Oh well. Fate of... If I get the event again, I'll give it to someone. Fate of Montenegro. I'm sorry, Montenegro. I try to make you your own country. I guess we'll give it to Serbia. Since Croatia... I don't know. Give it to Serbia. Do that. Fate of Persia. Puppet. And I believe that's it for all the annexation decisions. So let's look at our huge subject list. We can see the faction map just to get an idea how much the Entente basically it dominates the Middle East 
and the vast majority of Europe. France dominates a lot of different countries around the world, to be honest. We just look at the faction map here, as well as in Latin America, and it has a big faction in Argentina. That's pretty crazy. But anyway, let us look at our list of subjects. Just have a big list. We have Albania, Austria, Bar Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, Czech Republic, German Protectorate, Dutchland, Kingdom of Hungary, Icelandic State, Italian Federation, Luxembourg, Poland, Republic of South Africa, Slovenia, Slovakia, Bologna, Bulgarian State, Galicia, Lodomeria, Montenegro. I don't even know where they're at because they don't. Whatever, Montenegro is technically our puppet then. Romanian Legionary Kingdom, Serbia, Transylvania, Turkish State, Indo Chinese Union, Ceylon, Armenia, Sultanate of Egypt, Assyria, Hashemite Arabia, Lebanon, Oman, Persia, Syrian State, Yemen, Greater Colombian Authority, Estado Mexicano, Venezuela, Central American Republic, and Dahomey. Well, I say Schrodinger's Dahomey because it's technically our puppet, but at the same time, it doesn't actually exist if we look at the world map. It's a little strange, but it's whatever, though. And this is going to be the end of my French National State Legionary Order Path Playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kai's Redux. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.